This video will cover the differences between Evercoat's fiber reinforced fillers, their approved substrates for use, proper application techniques, and recommended finishing techniques. Evercoat's fiber reinforced fillers are designed to meet the need for a wide range of applications, such as classic car restorations, composite repairs, panel bonds and weld scenes, and rust repairs. Evercoat's fiber reinforced fillers are grouped into the following categories short strand reinforced, multi strand reinforced, and long strand reinforced. Evercoat offers two short strand reinforced fillers Everglass and Glass Light. Everglass is a heavyweight short strand reinforced filler that uses milled fiberglass and Kevlar for additional strength and durability. It also contains ZNX7 for improved corrosion protection and improved adhesion to galvanized metal and sheet molded composites. The second short strand fiber reinforced filler is an all purpose reinforced lightweight filler, Glass Light. Glass Light combines the strength of fiberglass with the ease of sanding of a lightweight body filler. It mixes and applies smoothly and can be easily sanded to a primer ready finish. Both Everglass and Glass Light can be used for panel bond lines or welded areas. Evercoat's multi fiber reinforced filler is FiberTech. FiberTech uses a premium resin and a fiber combination that is ideal for double sided composite repairs and eliminates the need for using resin and matte on most repairs. FiberTech also contains Kevlar for superior strength and ZNX7 for improved corrosion protection and improved adhesion to galvanized metal and sheet molded composites. Because of the fiber combination in FiberTech, it can also be used over panel bond lines or welded areas. When a long strand fiber reinforced filler is required, Evercoat offers Kitty Hair. Kitty Hair combines a unique polyester resin with heavy duty long strand bulk fibers. This combination provides maximum impact and crack resistance on bulk filler applications. As you can see from the chart, Evercoat offers a fiber reinforced filler to meet the need on a variety of substrates. The recommended finish thickness of all Evercoat fillers should not exceed 1 quarter inch or 6 millimeters, so when thicker filling is required, a base of fiber reinforced filler is recommended. When preparing fiberglass for the application of a fiber reinforced filler, begin by first washing the damaged area with soap and water to remove waterborne contaminants. Now, use a solvent cleaner to remove wax, grease, and silicone. If a large area of fibers are exposed, avoid using excessive amounts of wax and grease remover. These slower solvents can be absorbed into the repair area, so use acetone instead. If cracks radiate away from the damaged area, be sure to locate all of them and keep them from radiating further by drilling a small hole at the end of the crack as shown. Now bevel the damaged area. For large repairs, also prepare the backside the same way. Remove the loose material as necessary. After the area has been prepared, remove the dust with clean compressed air. Avoid using a penetrating solvent to remove the dust. If areas of the panel are missing, Use tape or cardboard to support the repair material from the back side. For this repair, we will use FiberTech. Prior to dispensing the fiber reinforced repair product, mix the material to ensure an even consistency. If using the pouch, knead the package to avoid separation. Be sure to also knead the cream hardener. Dispense the desired amount of product for the repair size. Evercoat fiber reinforced fillers mix at a 50 to 1 ratio or 2% by weight with cream hardener. For a 2 inch puddle about 5 centimeters, dispense a 1 inch bead of cream hardener or about 2.5 centimeters. For a 4 inch puddle about 10 centimeters, 
apply a bead of cream hardener from edge to edge. An 8-inch puddle, or 20 centimeters, requires a bead of hardener from edge to edge plus an additional 4 inch or 10 centimeter bead. When mixing, use firm downward pressure to press out any potential air pockets and ensure an even blend. For the initial application, use firm even pressure to press the material into repair and wet the surface. Build up the repair material to the plane of repair. Remove any excess repair material that extended beyond the prepared area before it begins to gel. Allow 5 to 10 minutes for sand time and sand to contour with 80 grit. If using a coarser grit, be sure to avoid sanding beyond the applied material. This will help to control the repair size and eliminates coarse abrasive marks in the repair. Once the area is sanded, Remove the tape or cardboard from the opposite side. Sand the area and apply FiberTech in the same way as the first side. This will create a double-sided repair for maximum strength. Avoid applying over a stitch welded or spot welded area. These panels can possibly flex or move over time and cause post-repair mapping. Another issue is the potential for corrosion to migrate between the panels and cause repair failure. The recommended procedure is to apply fiber reinforced filler over solid welds. When applying over a welded seam, be sure to level the weld as close to contour as possible. Excessive surface contour or irregularities can also cause post repair mapping. After the weld has been ground to contour, Mix and apply the desired material as previously shown. Everglass and FiberTech both work well for these applications. For panel bond applications, remove all of the excess adhesive and create a slight bevel on the top panel. Then sand the surface with 80 grit and remove the dust with clean compressed air. As we saw on the chart, Evercoat's FiberTech Everglass and Glasslight are all good choices for panel bond seams. For this procedure, we will use Everglass. Mix at a 50 to 1 ratio as shown with FiberTech. Again, use firm even pressure for the initial application. Build the repair material to the plane of repair. Remove any excess repair material that extended beyond the area before it begins to gel. Allow 10 to 15 minutes for sand time. If using FiberTech for this application, allow 5 to 10 minutes for sand time and sand to contour with 80 grit. After the repair has been sanded to shape, remove the dust with clean compressed air to prepare the surface for a finishing material. To optimize the performance of the repair system, Use Evercoat's VET Panel Filler Number 870 as a finishing material to help reduce repair mapping and bond line swelling. Or use Evercoat's Quantum One or other premium repair products. For more information on Evercoat's fiber reinforced fillers or other Evercoat products, contact your local Evercoat distributor. Or go to evercoat.com for more information.